I grew up in, it was just me and my mom. There was a lot of drugs and alcohol in my surrounding. So my environment was very dysfunctional. My mom was really young when she had me and the adults around me were not trustworthy because everybody was partying all the time. There was a lot of alcohol, there was a lot of drugs. Love looked hostile and volatile, so I had no idea what real love was. I grew up in uh, kind of the prototypical nuclear family. You know, I'm the oldest, so I kind of showed my brother and sister what not to do. <laughs> So I was probably the challenge in, in our family. When we met, we were young. We were involved with the music scene. Heavily into the party scene. My life was chaos. Steve asked me out on a date and I stood him up. My motivation was to just like, you know. Quick hookup. <laughs> or, or whatever, yeah. And yeah. that's why I stood him up. <laughs> yeah, right, right. Yeah. Yeah. But we were in the same circle of friends, so we would always come full circle again. Once we started hanging out, it was over. Everything happened so quickly, like a whirlwind. And it was on. <laughs> <laughs> there was a lot of um, concern on my family's side about the choices that I was making in life. There was a rock and roll lifestyle going. Yeah, you know? definite rock and roll lifestyle going on. Like, crazy. Yeah, like to the edge of the abyss. Yeah. We're both running from something and we just collided. Smash. I think we were both in our low, the lowest point in our life. That's when yeah. me and Steve hooked up. Things happened so quickly in our relationship. There were elements of her personality that were definitely you know, she's pretty controlling. So I would say, you know, she tends to overwhelm the room or dominate. She's a little wild and compulsive and loud and emotional. I'm such an optimist and he's a pessimist. So it's like, come on, dude, let's do this thing. And you're like, well. <laughs> I can't stand it. It's like, no, dude, we're not put on this planet to be like that. We're here to live. Where's your passion? Let's enjoy this shit. <laughs> you know, we're, we're alive. We don't even know if this thing is really even gonna work. And bam. By the third month, I had gotten pregnant. All of a sudden, I'm about to bring a baby into the world and we were not in the best condition at all in our lives. So there was a lot of concern regarding our relationship, regarding where we were at in our lives. I just remember Steve showing up and getting down on his knee and proposing to me because I was pregnant. And I looked at, I looked at him like he was crazy. And I said, I am not gonna marry you because I'm pregnant. Really, we just had to figure it out. At that point in time in my life, I had to grow up, big time. You know, it was too much partying, it was too much, it was too much insanity. I grew up in that. There was no way in hell I was gonna continue to allow this, this environment to continue. Steve was not on the same page. Are in love, Steve? <laughs> <laughs> we are um, totally 100% soulfully in love. We are way in love. <laughs> Steve is the love of my life. This is my person. We've been together for 17 years. We just got married last May. So we've been married for a year. We have two beautiful boys and a beautiful home. What I've learned about love in this relationship is that love for me has been this opportunity to 
dig deep. This relationship and, and the way I feel about her motivates me to want to be a better person and to not just be a good provider, but to be a, a, a heart, you know? He allowed me to just be who I was. That's a gift when you find something like that. So bad cake.